Hi everyone and welcome to Evie's Toy House. So I received a whole lot of requests for my next split pony custom. So today I'm gonna try to make Pink Amanda Diane Pie versus Pinkie Pie. So Pink Amanda Diane Pie is actually Pinkie Pie's full name and she looked totally different before she got her cutie mark. So I'm gonna be using this pony because she has molded hair and I think she's gonna look really good afterwards. All right, so let's get started. We're going to start by cutting off half of Pinkie Pie's mane. This is actually very difficult to do because Pinkie Pie's mane is very thick. So if you're doing this at home, make sure to get your parents to help you. As you can see here, I'm just cutting off small chunks at a time. So after a long time, I'm finally done and take a look. The mane has been cut in half, but I left Pinkie Pie's little twist on the front. Next, we're going to change the shape of her eye. I'm using some acetone and we're going to take off the top portion of her eye. Using a piece of tape, I'm going to tape Pinkie Pie right down the middle and this will help me when I paint her on one side. For this custom, I'm going to change Pink Amanda's color on her side. And this is just so that the two Pinkie Pies look different. So I'm going to paint her a little bit darker. And we're going to paint over her cutie mark, but we'll put it back in later. Using black, I'm going to draw in her upper lids. And we're also going to add some lashes. And with white, we're going to fill in her eyes. For her irises, we're going to paint it blue. Then give her black pupils. We're going to add small lashes under her eye and give it two white dots. Now we're going to make her mane. I'm going to be using oven baked clay and we're going to cut out a rectangular piece. Pink Amanda's hair is very straight so we're going to try to make this very straight and flat. And then curve it on the top and shape it around Pinkie Pie's head. At this point, I'm feeling for the ears. We're going to have to cut out some ear holes for her ears to go through. So now that we know where the ears are, we're going to cut it out using an X-Acto knife. Now we're going to put it back on the head and bake it. For the tail, I'm also going to use a flat piece of clay and we're going to cut it out around Pinkie Pie's tail. So Pinkie Pie's tail is going to be curly, but Pink Amanda's tail is going to be very straight. And with a dotting tool, I'm going to add some lines to it. Now we're going to attach it back to Pinkie Pie's tail and bake it. Now that the clay pieces have been baked, we're going to paint it a pink color. I'm going to paint both the mane and also the tail. And finally, we're going to put Pinkie Pie's cutie mark back on. And we're going to do this on both sides of her flank. We're going to start with a yellow balloon, two blue balloons, and some string. And we're going to do this on the other side too.
Alright everyone, so we are done. So take a look. So on the right side is the Pinkie Pie as we know her. Super happy and chipper. And on the left is the original Pinkie Pie or Pinkamino Diane Pie. So she has straight hair, goes straight down. She's not as happy. <laughs> And so I also changed her colors just so that it is a little bit different from Pinkie Pie. And I think it looks a little bit strange just because of the hair. So over here you can see that her hair is um, super high here on the poofy side and flat and straight on this side. So I tried to add a little bit of red glitter just to get that um, pink hair covered a little bit and doesn't look like it just got cut in half but that's pretty much what happened and you can see here that her hair is a little bit bigger because I wanted to cover the um, Pinkie Pie's tail as you can see her eyes are a little bit more serious on the left side and super happy on the right side so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of my split Pinkie Pie and if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!